Hi, just a short video today. I bought a new machine and I want to unbox it and show it to you and maybe do a quick test. As you can see, I have some available space here. I need to fill it up, of course. So I bought this belt and bench grinder and uh, also some extra sandpaper, some extra belts. Uh, as normal, it's from Biltema. It's where I buy most of my tools. So let's open it and uh, check if it's any good. Okay, let's take a look at the package first. Uh, 230 volts, 200 watts. This is for the European market. If uh, this is something you're interested in, I can also show you the number. Biltema number 17477. Then let's open it. So this brand uh, normally has uh, tools for hobbyists, not for professionals. So the quality is uh, yeah, medium, uh, I would say, uh, at most. But the price is very affordable. This one costs uh, around 500 Norwegian kroners. So that is like 50 bucks. And I guess uh, it's more or less just to start using this. I don't think it's much assembly here. Yeah, just uh, get it out of the package and uh, it seems like you're ready to go. In addition to the, to the machine, there was a manual and some extra tools, so maybe we should look into that. Yeah, some of the brackets to support when you're grinding is included here. So let's put it together. Not too much, two brackets and some screws. And in the, the other package, it's a uh, protection equipment. On uh, this side, to mount the support uh, bracket, it was uh, this rounded uh, screw here, so it uh, goes in here. So it wasn't too hard. And then you can decide how close you want to have it. Let me tilt the camera up. Here we have the support for the protection. And let's peel off the plastic. Uh -huh, nice. It can be nice to turn this around. Everything is moving smoothly. And then on the other side, same procedure. This time it was just a regular screw. And yeah, you can decide how close you want to have this uh, support bracket. So let's test the noise level. I have a microphone uh, quite close to my the mouth, so let's see the noise, how it is. Okay, quite noisy. I need to lower my voice quite a lot to get uh, my voice through here. So I would say quite noisy. But I guess it's the belt part that makes the noise. Hearing protection is necessary, and of course, uh, eye protection. So then it's uh, testing time. Let's see the strength on the motor.
Okay, the testing is done. I would say 200 watts on the motor could have been more. Using the belt part was okay. Using this stone part, you couldn't put a lot of pressure on. I almost made a knife here, that was uh, not my intention, I was just playing around. So uh, I would say the motor could have been a bit more powerful, especially using this uh, stone part. Uh, for the belt, uh, it seems uh, okay. I had just uh, this uh, thin steel plate, uh, 0 0.7 millimeters. Worked perfectly for that. I will do a new test. This is a 8 millimeter uh, bolt, and I will try to make it sharp. Let's uh, do a test and see how it goes. Definitely a success. Perfect, smooth and round and sharp. It's uh, yeah, like a noodle. So uh, for me, using an uh, angle grinder and uh, other <laughs> different kind of tools to uh, try to uh, get uh, my steel stuff uh, in the manner I would like to have them. Wow, this is a real improvement. I would definitely recommend this for the price point. It's like. 500 Nutri Kroner, around $50. Extra sandpaper for the belt, uh, $6, 60 kroners for a pack with uh, one, two, three, four, five. So, really reasonable and a fantastic result. The motor, not the most uh, powerful, so you just need to spend the time, not too much pressure, and uh, it will eventually, you will get the result. So, and uh, very hard to adjust this, or not very hard, but uh, like at least the first time you try it, you will struggle a bit. So if you are a heavy user and you change the grits on the paper all the time and you have a heavier material, maybe you want something more powerful and bigger. But for me, that do this as a hobby and um, yeah, it's just a fantastic tool. So. For me, highly recommended.